everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and let's talk about Fear the Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 16, the finale episode. So, spoiler alert if you're not caught up to Fear the Walking Dead, Season 7. I'll start this review by saying this could be the best episode of Season 7. It's not saying a lot, it's not the greatest episode, and it didn't feel like a finale as much as Episode 15 did, actually. This seemed like maybe the start of Season 8, where Episode 15 was the end of season seven but let's just go with it it had madison pretty much throughout the episode it gave us a lot of information morgan and madison interacting madison finding out about nick and alicia from morgan and it set up really everything for season eight i guess going forward but from the water tower in season six and that uh raft that's up in the air morgan man he can he can do some stuff he took those mattresses and all of that stuff supplies and everything and he was hurt injured and he took all that stuff into the water tower and he put that raft up in a tree he's a handy dude he is a handy dude but he can't hang on to the baby because it gets taken um madison shows up kills the regular people that seemingly were decent people possibly they just had their kids stolen so they're searching for Madison, the girl in the house that Morgan finds that says she's pregnant that's not really pregnant. Madison checked her out when they were in the crypt. She was calling to a Jim saying the baby and all this stuff like Jim was her husband, but really that was a trap to lure whoever it was that was stealing the kids, which turned out to be Madison. So the question I have, one question anyway, is Madison shot all the dudes with hoods on on the beach, took the baby but shot at Morgan, but didn't shoot Morgan. So I'm just wondering, okay, these guys with hoods are after me and uh, they need to die because I took their kids a while back. Morgan, he'll eventually chase after me, but I'm going to let him live for right now. It just seems like she would have shot Morgan if she was that type of person that steals kids and know that these people are trying to come after her and find her. But Morgan does go after her. She leaves baby Mo, who does get taken by Padre. So baby Mo's gone. Morgan's trying to work a deal out how to get her back. But that's most of the show. Half the show there at the end is the working out the deal, figuring out what's the best plan to get Mo back. And that's how it sets up season eight. We'll get to that. But it does show little things like Madison transforming over time. And she gets the tattoos. It shows that. And, of course, that's what Morgan finds when they're fighting Madison and Morgan. Morgan sees the tattoos, realizes it's Madison Clark. And eventually in the crypt, tells her that Nick died, how he died, all that stuff. And Alicia pretty much is dead, or at least it seems so, when he left her. So as far as Madison, we get the... Uh, Hey, I don't want to see my kids. You know, I've put that behind me. I just want to move on, let them do their thing. But you said they're dead, so it don't matter anymore. Um, she figured if she left Padre, so Padre comes back into play, that Padre is a place that seemingly uh, steals kids, is stepping away from the family aspect and no ties. Uh, you know, you don't worry about people because you don't have any family uh, kind of thing and that was a big issue pretty much in both shows every show is people worrying about people their family and friends and supposedly Padre is trying to take that aspect away in the new society that they're building whatever that is Madison was a collector for them just to steal children so they could raise them and brainwash them I guess in that certain way of that type of living that society uh, you know the kids and especially a kid as young as Mo would never know any different. So eventually Madison is given up to the guys and they bury her in the sand. They took her Padre book and know when the Padre people are picking her up. So they go to the docks to try to kill the Padre people. But of course they all get killed, including the lady that was looking for her kid. She wasn't pregnant at the time, but she did have a kid stolen in the past, like the rest of these folks seem to, that were looking for their kids. Madison took their kid, and Padre probably has several collectors out there. Madison, I'm sure, is not the only collector of kids for Padre, but they do recognize that those are the people that went to the docks. They have to kill them. You know, the lady, uh, her kid, never find her kid kind of thing, and so as it plays out, Morgan decides, look, okay, um, Madison says, really, the only way that possibly, and not for sure, but possibly, to get your kid back is to have another kid to trade. 
So Morgan comes up with this crazy ass plan and this is the setup for season eight. And you see the boat, they get blindfolded. Madison doesn't know where Padre is because she's always taken there. There's a ship out there that they're going to in the little boat, but where does the ship go? Or is the ship Padre? Or is it like an oil rig or an island? Or, you know, what's it going to be? What's Padre going to be exactly? And I'm not sure if the place is as much important as what they're doing there as far as with the kids and the new way of thinking. But the two showrunners said it's a place unlike we've ever seen before. So, you know, get ready for it. But Morgan made the crazy ass deal to give up his friends because he thinks with them, we can win this. We can take over whatever it is. Padre, we're going to get Mo out and everybody's going to be okay. He gives up his friends. You know, it comes down to the thing of do you sacrifice one to save many or do you try to sacrifice even more to save the one? You know, you could lose four or five trying to save the one. You know, it's like who makes that decision and, and what's the best decision and and how do you make that decision, you know, logically. And as far as kids go, um, Morgan turning in the rafts and stuff yeah the people he don't know what they do with people we just know what they do with kids what did they do with people we know they separate you know if the mom's pregnant once they have the kid they would separate the mom but what happens to the mom you know where does she go is what kind of community is it for people that separated from their kids and as far as i remember on the beach when everybody was getting into the rafts and alicia stay behind i don't remember seeing a bunch of kids you got charlie she's about to die anyway and she may be older than what you know they're wanting but the thing is sherry says she's pregnant she's probably pregnant her and dwight so that poses an issue right there with dwight and sherry and sherry being pregnant so unless some of those other people were pregnant or something i'm not sure i saw a lot of kids so i'm not sure morgan's exact angle here well it looks like we're gonna have to wait till season eight to see how the writers write that story but hey, you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. You know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff. Oh, and definitely stay tuned for the Bloodpath Diary coming very, very, very soon.